I'm in CapCut right now, so I need to import the video I have recorded in order to achieve this disappearing effect. Tap on the project, and here is the video. Alright guys, so what I just did is that I set up my camera and I came in front of the camera, just like this, okay? Alright, so, so after jumping down there, so I just have to remove my shoe, so on that same spot, okay? So I remove my shoe, just like that, can you see? Alright, then I just have to leave the scene, okay? So I later came back with the clothes. So with the help of two clips, I was able to attach the top and the trouser together, okay, you can see. And I dropped just like that and I left the scene, okay. Alright, so what I need to do now is that, you can see, this is the video. So before I came out of the room or the house, you know, I have an empty background, a blank shot here. So I just have to tap on the empty background and go to freeze. So I need a freeze frame of that empty background, okay. So here is freeze, okay, you can see. So I need to turn this video to overlay. So I just have to turn it to overlay. Right, so this overlay. So I drag it, okay. So then I need to extend this uh, freeze frame, okay. All right, so what I just have to do next is that I need to come to exact place where I jumped down. You can see, so my leg is touching the ground here. So I just have to split this video. The one I've turned to overlay, I just have to split it there okay so i look for splits so yes split okay so the rest as i off my shoe uh when go out of the scene okay everything like this i just have to cut it out as i was trying to drop the clothes okay all this to this level you can see so immediately i drop the clothes as the clothes is still hanging in the air but there must be a space you can see there is a space between the clothes coming down and me trying to run out of the scene. So I just have to tap on the on the on the clip here to split it. Okay, so I'll be able to delete the middle part. All right. So I can drag this back. So just to join here. All right. So I can reduce this back. What you can see. All right. So now, this is what I have. Let me play it. So you can see. So now, what I need to do next is to come to where I drop the clothes. You can see here, as there is space. You can see, I have a space. Okay, so I just have to tap on that clip and I need to go to mask. Okay, so I look for mask. This is mask. Then I tap on horizontal. Okay, so I need to rotate this line like this. Alright, then I need to drag it just to cover myself as I'm trying to go out of the scene. Alright. So if you need the feather, you can use the feather. And if you don't need it, it depends on how you recorded your video. Then I tap on the mark button. So you can see I have like two color, two layers of color. While you are recording your video, make sure you lock the exposure of your camera. Okay. So I think I made a mistake. I didn't lock the exposure. Alright. So make sure you do that. But I can still do something so to make it a bit better all right so i tap where i have the other color that is different from this color then i can just come to adjust okay so let me come to adjust so yes adjust okay so then i can come to color match look at the color match here it's a pro feature i think you all have pro uh cap cut pro all right so you don't have check other video i have explained how you can get it all right so this is color match okay then i tap on add source then i tap this original video i want to pick the color then i tap on apply so you can see, I think it's better than what I have before. You can just it here as well. Alright. So I don't want it to be too long. I would have made it more better. So let me play it and see. So you can see. So that was how I achieved this event. So to make it more better, you can just add your sand effects so that it will look more better. Alright. So if you get value from this video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. And also subscribe to this channel if you are actually new. So I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.